What's up, Geek Dad? What's up, Geekers? How y'all doing? How you doing? How y'all doing? Uh, welcome to Revaluate, where we look at two TV shows or two movies. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. you know, we discuss them. You know, we tell you if it's great or not. It we might even argue with present, them. It could be the each past, other. whichever. Mm -hmm. You know, we just look at it. We so we call that. That's hence why we call it revaluate. Evaluate. All right. So, first movie. First movie. You were the best part all along. Ah, uh, so yeah. I like this. I like it. Mm -hmm. This movie is so refreshing. It, it had so much comic con moments. Of course, Ryan 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 He's gonna you know, bring it all the time. Too, you you know can't I mean? you can't really and Definitely. the thing that I really liked is the boy Walker, um mm -hmm. little Adam or whatever. Um but his real his real name is Walker. Yo, it was a good pairing. Like mm -hmm. I felt like he actually held his own against Ryan Reynolds. And mm -hmm. I mean as like a kid yeah. versus he, Ryan he was, Reynolds, he was doing that was really impressive. Characters that were in Marvel <laughs> I mean, listen, you had Jennifer Garner, yeah, Electra. Yeah. You had the Hulk himself. Exactly. Okay, then you had Zoe Saldana, then you had Ryan Reynolds. Okay, next is gonna be Catherine Keener in something. Mm. Okay, so like I, I mean it, was it wouldn't be surprising. Cast. It was it was beautifully cast. I yeah. Like every one of the characters in the in the movie itself. It was full of action though. The action yes. was on point. It was like, you know, Ball wrenching, it was like on the edge of your seat type of thing. And, I definitely uh, wouldn't say that though. Yeah, it was to me. I definitely it was, wouldn't say that. It was. It, I mean, for a TV show, it did for bring that type of, you know. I hear you. I disagree. I think mm -hmm. it wasn't like, like, oh my God, oh my God, it's happening. But I mean, it was entertaining to watch. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely think that they really love pop culture. You definitely saw like Jedi influences with the weapons. You definitely even saw like them casting Zoe Saldana and she's a linguistics person I was like okay mm. Star Trek I see you okay mm. it was it was things like that that I was like oh you know for the, for the geeks out there we see you we see you we see you we appreciate the fan service yeah I mean listen I, personally I just hope that they don't try to sequel bait it like everything doesn't need a sequel actually I think they did a fine job just having a self-contained mm -hmm. um, story mm -hmm. I do think it, it can go to sequel territory i still want it to I, you know for me even though the the, the 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 movie was a bit you know exciting and stuff i still found some some bad things about it i, I still you know had some little glitches in it that like i didn't what? like i didn't understand the fact that you know you didn't know what the adam project was about even though he explained it um i i, I think i needed some sort of reference to where he's coming from what like the world, like the past, what, 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 what? You mean the future? Yeah, yeah, the future, what the future was for him. I can agree with that. And um, mm -hmm. why is he running from these people and the origins, the origins of these people and all of that. So I, that's one of the things I didn't like about the movie itself. Overall, it was like a quick get together type movie. It was like mm -hmm. quick getaway movie. You know, the popcorn movie, it's... it's it it's, definitely was. And yeah. you do mention a good point because they even name-drop, like, you seen Terminator? 10 times, 30 times worse than that. Mm. I, I want to see exactly what yeah, that's exactly. about. That's, exactly. That is a good point. But I still but don't want to see a budget, prequel. Yeah, I think the budget for that movie wasn't strong enough for the, for the future. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. I, I'm, t I'm telling you, they're yeah. going to have another movie... And somehow they can shoot that, shoehorn that in. I'm yeah, telling probably, you. Probably, I'm telling probably, you. Yeah. But, but um, yeah, listen, it's on Netflix. Yeah, and it's, if it's you have Netflix, mm -hmm. go for it. Obviously, yeah. go watch um, it. It's, it's a good. It's, it's a good movie. Yeah, it's pretty good. Nah, this ain't it. Nah, 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 nah. This ain't it. This movie was a hot garbage. Like I am so not into the serial killer type movies where the, the, the serial, it's hard for the serial killer to to die or you know it, it, it's likely possible that he has this supernatural strength and all that shit uh, yeah to me it just it just the blood and guts and everything was was fine and dandy but um, that, it was. that it was that it was that it felt flat for me. I'm gonna tell you my two biggest things that I really did not like about it. The fact that they tried to pull a Halloween 2018 where they had the original um, survivor, the character 
come back to try to do revenge and she got horribly killed mm -hmm. and it and it was just dumb it, it was it, it was so shoehorned in that it did not affect the plot at all so i was like why do you even have this character you could still have this entire movie not have this character and you would not have missed anything whatsoever it was so dumb to shoot her in mm. and then like the the very last moment moment spoilers you had the two sisters and they were about to leave and i'm like i, I listen it's i already like know and and it wasn't just that but it's just like first of all i felt that they got the wrong sister mm. like the the it was like the little defenseless sister that was able to be the survivor and it was the other one that was like kind of the survivor mm. that at the very last minute yank now that the imagery was cool i ain't gonna lie mm. like you said the gore i'm crazy. not gonna lie about that there's a bus scene of he just hocking everybody okay chopping up everybody everybody and that was dope i can't even lie about that mm. but you know at the end when they got the wrong sister i was like all right the writing for the movie was just blah. Yeah. It, it, it's just it wasn't like, scary. It wasn't it scary. Wasn't there wasn't, yeah, there wasn't It wasn't redeeming. There was nothing new added to mm -hmm. the mythos. It wasn't a Why did you do story it? And, and, Why? And for this, the way how it ended, I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, you know what I, mean? I, I really was. I wasn't interested I, to see a okay, part two or sorry. whatever. I think these type of movies should have been like a documentary type movies. I'm not sure if you know those type of movies. Yeah. Where, you know, like a where, movie. Yeah, yeah, where mm -hmm. you have the and that could like work. real footage, like you know, like that, that could has work real for footage, it. that type thing. It actually is the, the idea of Texas Chainsaw Massacre was basically from a, a, a real story from um from a whole from, bunch from of serial killers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, they could have done something that it looks more horrifying. Mm -hmm. This the story plot was just it was flat. it was dumb. It, it was, was just, just so dumb. Yeah, it was boring for the entire time. I was like cussing my. Nah. I was like, he was cussing out trying shit. not to fall asleep. Bitch ass. <laughs> Piece of shit. What is wrong with that's, you? That, that's how I was cussing my teeth. I don't know why I was. He wasn't cussing like that, but yeah. he just. I'm just saying. Sounded so red. Listen, thumb, yeah. unless you got real time to waste, a time of your life to waste, skip. Dumb. Skip. Dumb. Skip. All right, so and you know we're talking about horror movies. Um, I think we should do a reevaluate on the top five horror movies from 2015 till now. I so top five that we we like individually. Yeah, think. yeah. Basically. Okay, got it. And and what we will do I is the assignment. we will look watch two horror movies from the top. Well, the top two horror movies we'll be watching, and then we will discuss it with you the next time. How about All that? right. We can do that. So we'll like list basically the movies that we think are the top five. Top five from 2015 and of that, you will watch two of those. Yes. Got it. Well, I'm excited, guys. I hope you guys, if you have anything to say about what we, you know, about these two movies that mm -hmm. we watched, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre and The Adams Project. Comment below. Comment below. Listen, find us on Geek by Heart, Twitter, and Instagram. All right. I am Lainey, he is Jay, subscribe to us, let us know what you think, and we will see you in our next video. Make sure you hit one of those.